Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time. Today, we're going to take a look at a 2024 Forest River Flagstaff Microlite model number 25 FKS. It's a great front kitchen, couples model with an outside kitchen weighing just under 5,500 pounds. This is going to have you putting your husband in a double deep V-neck. And I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brendan Hannemeyer, on the camera today, Brendan. What's going on? Happy campers, huge campers, and fellow salespeople. Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. It's freezing outside this morning, but we're fired up to show you one of the best floor plans coming in mm. under 25 feet or 26 feet. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. We're on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. We're on Pinterest, everybody. We're everywhere. You got to check us out. Enjoy this micro -life. Yeah, whenever I'm looking for different ways to put on different essential oils, Pinterest. Pinterest was my first <laughs> stop. We got ourselves a front power jack, 30 pound per paint tanks, battery in a box location and through there. Aluminum framing, fiberglass skin, but what's killer is this is a front fiberglass cap with a front windshield built into it. Brendan, I didn't turn the lights on, brother. Hit me. What do you think? Look. That looks great, doesn't it? We got ourselves four manual stabilizer jacks. There is an option for electric jacks on here if you want to. Sneaky, uh, sneaky piece of vice. I like manual ones. I like manual as well. All right, we got ourselves our kitchen sewer drain here. We got some storage here in and around our U-shaped dinette inside. We got the aluminum framing, which you can see proof of. We have our main sewer drain here, 14 inch tires, Goodyear tires, aluminum rims, torsion suspension, fantastic stuff. TPMS, Brendan. Oh, I was gonna mention that if you didn't. I know, brother, I gotcha. We got ourselves our 30 amp detachable style cord, freshwater fill, roof ladder, get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days, black water flush kit here at the back. We've also prepped up there for a backup camera. We're gonna put a beautiful Lazy Acre tire cover on here for you. And then we have a class three receiver here at the back with some more little bonus storage. This is a nice little piece of storage right here, B. Sweet Pulls rack. Out. Sweet rack, brother. And then putting that away, we have our city water connection and our antifreeze inlet. That's a one piece roof, which is just how I like my grandmother's bathing suits. We got ourselves our six gallon gas electric water heater, outside shower, two burner stove top, two cubic foot fridge, and bonus, Brendan, there's an outside griddle and tabletop that's gonna fit in through here. There's LED lights in the awning, outside speakers. It's an electric awning that covers basically the full roof line. You can put an outside TV here with your receptacle down there. We have a manual override for our rack and pinion style slide. Rack and pinion, baby. Three-step entrance up and in, lend a hand, grab handle. Let's check out what kind of travel access we have. Bingo, bango, we're inside here, Brendan. And that fireplace actually makes a difference. Good call on that. We have access to our fridge from the side of the road. We do not have access to our bathroom. Let's get this bad boy opened up. Right on folks, we're inside that 25 FKS. You're standing in the hallway there adjacent to the washroom, Brandon. Looking forward into our front kitchen. Our main door is right here, but our kitchen is killer. We got solid surface on ultralight trailer. Tell me more, right, Brandon? Please. That's a fantastic thing here. We got our glass stovetop cover over top of our three burner stovetop. Deeper oven than we're used to seeing on these travel trailers. And then we have a uh, pot drawer or pot and pan drawer down and through there. Our inverter switch is here. That's a 1800 watt inverter for 2024. Teed up with our 200 watt solar panel on the roof. Drawers in through here. Oh shoot, pull a little tag off, that's all right. Solid surface, like I mentioned, that is an undermount stainless steel sink, single vessel with that drying rack above it. We got two towers of power. We got the beautiful windows here at the front, built into that front windshield. Covered space here across the top. All right, and then if you're looking for a pantry, I've got you covered, Brennan. Shelving in through there. And then I imagine, oh, that is actual storage, sweet. And then as we look further across the top, we got ourselves uh, two more cupboards, space there for a cereal box, microwave, range hood. As you come in the door, you've got a spot there to hang up your coats. And then we have a 10 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge that opens from either side. Doesn't really matter with this particular model, but does open from either side. 
TV right here across from the dinette. Open storage here with a uh, net. There's our so uh, 30 amp, uh, 30 amp solar charge controller. Fireplace built in there. That is making a difference here. It's cold today, Brennan. You want to show off the dinette? Whatever, man. Dinettes are dinettes. No, I'm sorry. Dinettes, why? <laughs> we got the U-shaped dinette. That will go down to a big secondary bed. You'll notice there's no carpet here in the slide. And then we got nice drawers here on either side as well with three windows in behind that dinette. How's that, Brennan? Great. All right, brother. Heading into the bathroom now. We've got our porcelain toilet in through here. Dump truck fits. Cupboard right there sink medicine cabinet open storage right there nice storage here for linen behind me and then we've got a radius style shower up into our shower i'm six feet tall just to give you an idea there i do fit in here nicely we've got the standard fantastic fan and the standard shower miser saving you water coming out of the washroom i love how they turn the bed sideways on this particular floor plan it just feels like a bigger bedroom in through here, and I think it actually saves in length, Brendan. This is a very short 25-footer. We've got uh, bedside tables, receptacles and USBs, receptacles and USBs, and we actually have a bonus drawer over here on this side. I like that, Brendan. Might switch right beside the bed. Yeah, no one hopping out of bed. And then we got ourselves one more cupboard there that's fake. It was a waste of my time to open it. Open storage here. Space there to put a TV with a bedroom window. That's the video, folks. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Have yourself a good day.